Well, you might be wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm moving all of my pieces of plywood forward a few inches because they're not flush. There's some gaps uh, that need to be taken care of. Definitely need to fix it. And uh, when I got the four by fours, the four foot by four foot uh, pieces of plywood, uh, I thought they would fit a 10 by 12 tent. I'd have three pieces, three times four is 12 feet, so that would equal the length of the tent. Turns out this tent is not exactly 10 by 12. Uh, it's off by a few inches. So I, uh, I need to adjust the plywood. Last year I just, I didn't have the right tools for it. Um, I just had a handsaw and I didn't want to be cutting plywood with a handsaw. I wanted to be doing it with a proper saw. Today I have a proper saw, so I'm excited about that. So, I'm lifting the tent, as you can see, I'm going to shuffle all of these forward, and then I'm going to cut off the end, right here, uh, with my circular saw, and hopefully that will erase all of the gaps.
Now this one, this side, I decided just to cut straight through where there was overlap and you can see it's left a gap. So here it's, this was actually a pretty good cut. There's just a bit of a gap, maybe like a third of a centimeter. And this one here as well, the gap isn't huge. If you look over here, because I had more patients during this one and I shuffled them all down, they're flush. They look really good. I just thought to myself, if I cut straight through where there's overlap, it should be a straight line and it should be flush, I thought in theory, but that's not what happened. Well, work's done for the day, and uh, I'm happy with what I did. Tent looks better now, um, for sure, and uh, it's it's uh, on its way to the dream and the vision, and I just needed to do that first. There's a few other things I got to fix the front end of this tent because it, the door's not closing right, um, and then I'm gonna like really beautify it in here i scored a, a bunch of two by six lumber um at an auction maybe a couple months back super good deal like as cheap as i'm ever going to find lumber in the north and uh, i'm going to uh i'm going to utilize it here in the tent and i'm pretty excited about what i'm going to do so you guys will have to keep I tuned in as I keep just plugging away at this place, trying to make it as beautiful as possible. So yeah, lots of lots of plans. I'm not going to reveal any of them. You just have to watch. That's how it goes. Uh, but um, yeah, so work's done. I booked the day off to come out here. I mean, that's how much I really wanted to to come out. Like I, this is my vacation place, and right now with with no travel. This is where I travel to. I come to the tent whenever I can. And so I'm booking off a Thursday. I'm coming out here and I'm getting work done. And uh, now I'm going to make myself a, a chicken stew. And this thing is like one of my favorite meals. My Coleman stove has stopped working. So I need to cook everything on the wood stove right now. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just coming out, 
doing some work and having a meal. Poultry seasoning. Salt. And pepper.
Okay, now we got to see what this tastes like. It's very hot. Chicken first. By the way, chicken thighs are the only way to go. Wow. So tender. Falls apart in your mouth. Thick, creamy, mmm, mmm, I love it. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to go home. I do have to work tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was just, I was on a mission today. I came, and I, I did some work, and that was it. I took a day off of work to come to work. There is some very cold weather on the way, so I'm looking forward to that. I really want to test this place out. What's this place going to be like when it's minus 30 to minus 40? And uh, it's coming really soon. So that will be really exciting and uh, just, you know, getting out and testing myself, testing the old tent shack. So if you like what you saw, hit the like button and, uh, or don't, <laughs> hit the thumbs down if you want to hit that too. All of it helps a YouTuber, believe it or not. So I, uh, yeah, I really appreciate every single one and I, I just want to thank everybody who's been, been watching the channel. It means a lot to me. So uh, yeah, I'll be back really soon.